through their food. Remnants of the Spanish occupation can be seen in every church square and on every table. Crispy pata, a classic pork dish, is as popular here as it is in Spain. The Americans gave the Filipinos a taste for hamburgers and hot dogs during World War II. And contributions from the Chinese are everywhere, from rice to noodles, to spices like cloves, peppercorns, and hot chilies. With all of these influences, indigenous Filipino foods are quickly becoming a thing of the past. And that's what intrigues me. I want to visit the people and the places working to preserve the local food culture and taste some of the more unusual native treats that I've heard so much about. Wow. I'm starting with one of the most popular snack foods sold on street corners all over the Philippines, balut. A tasty morsel that's firmly rooted in Pan-Asian traditions, but Filipinos have made it their own national dish. Now, a balut is a fertilized duck embryo that's steamed and served in the shell. It's about 18 days old. It's basically a hard-boiled egg with a beak, feathers, feet. If that doesn't sound absolutely crazy bizarre, I don't know what does. Balut was first introduced to the Philippines by Chinese traders in the 1800s. For them, it was a delicacy. But because balut is cheap to produce, easy to make, and packed with protein, <laughs> it quickly became an important part of the Filipino diet. If you're going to try it for the first time, like I am, the best place to go is to Pateros, a